I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Good morning to you. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace. It's Friday the 18th of June, and I want to thank you for joining us as we gather online to pray the office of morning prayer. I'm going to take a moment to light a candle to symbolize the prayers of the scattered church, continuing to ascend into heaven even when we can't physically gather for worship. You can do the same if, as well, along with me if you'd like, and when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page six. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is gracious and merciful. O oh, come, let us worship. O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth, and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that ye would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is gracious and merciful. O come, let us worship. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 88, beginning on page 441. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. O let my prayer enter into thy presence. Incline thine ear unto my calling. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draweth nigh unto the grave. I am counted as one of them that go down into the pit. I am even as a man that hath no strength like one cast forth among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, and in places of darkness and in the deeps. Thine indignation lieth hard upon me, and thou hast vexed me with all thy storms. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, and hast made me to be abhorred of them. I am so fast in prison that I cannot get forth. My sight hath failed, my sight faileth for very trouble. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched forth my hands unto thee. Dost thou show wonders for the dead, or shall the dead rise up and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave, or thy faithfulness in destruction? 
shall thy wondrous works be known in the dark, and thy righteousness in the land where all things are forgotten. Unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and early shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why abhorrest thou my soul, and hidest thou thy face from me? From my youth up I am in misery and ready to die. Thy terrors have I suffered with a troubled mind. Thy wrathful displeasure goeth over me, and the fear of thee hath undone me. They came round about me like water all the day long, and compassed me together on every side. My lovers and friends hast thou put away from me, and hid mine acquaintance out of my sight. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the first book of Samuel, the third chapter beginning at the first verse. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down within the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, Samuel. And he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call. Lie down again. So he went and lay down, and the Lord called again Samuel. And Samuel arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Now, Sam <clears throat> But he said, I did not call my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood forth, calling, as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for thy servant hears. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel, at which the two ears of every one that hears it will tingle. On that day I will fulfill against Eli all that I have spoken concerning his house, from beginning to end. And I tell him that I am about to punish his house forever for the iniquity which he knew because his sons were blaspheming God and he did not restrain them. Therefore I swear to the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be expiated by sacrifice or offering forever. Samuel lay until morning. Then he opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli. But Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, my son. And he said, Here I am. And Eli said, What was it that he told you? Do not hide it from me. May God do so to you and more also, if you hide anything from me of all that he told you. So Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. And he said, It is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was established as a prophet of the Lord. And the Lord appeared again at Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh by the word of the Lord. Here endeth the first lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 7. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud. 
the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim, continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The Holy Church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the Father of an infant majesty, thine honourable, true, and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, Thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the Acts of the Apostles. The second chapter, beginning at the 27th verse. (coughs) Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter, And to the rest of the apostles, Brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all that are far off, every one whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other words, and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about three thousand souls. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. And all who believed were together and had all things in common, And they sold their possessions and goods and distributed them to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they partook of food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their their number day by day those who were being saved. Here endeth the second lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies, and from the hands of all that hate us. To perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life, And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people 
for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and ever more mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, who never failest to help and govern them whom thou dost bring up in thy steadfast fear and love, keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence, and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who didst stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that every one might come within the reach of thy saving embrace, so clothe us in thy spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. I invite your prayers this morning for all those who are in need of prayer, whether they have particularly asked us to pray for them, or whether the Spirit of God puts it into our hearts to pray. As we make intercession for them this morning, we are reminded that we are coming into God's presence with them on our hearts. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, 
granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Again, thanks for praying with us this morning. I hope that these daily services of morning and evening prayer are a blessing to you. More than that, I hope that they're also becoming a habit for you, part of your disciplined, ordered daily life of prayer. Remind you that we pray morning prayer on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 o'clock, and evening prayer on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 4.30. And while those are the times that the videos premiere, you can, of course, tune in on demand at any other point later in the day that's convenient for you. Until we meet again, be good, God bless, and take care of each other. Bye-bye.